Then I'll make a short, sweet video about my Husqvarna backpack blower. 150 BT. Been working on it a couple of days. I've had everything apart on it. Uh, tried cleaning the spark plug up. Tried uh, taking the carburetor apart, blowing it out with my compressor and stuff. Uh, and then while I was at the small engine shop, I pulled this gasket off of the carburetor here and saw all kind of looks like rust and crap in there which I never pulled that one off because I started pulling it and it was coming apart and I didn't want to have to but the truth is you gotta go buy one of these kits okay first of all uh, Randy spark plug and I think the gas I was mixing with it wasn't good it was for boats the guy told me it's a different viscosity or whatever plus that my backpack blower didn't have the filter in it and that's important to have that filter in there you can ruin your motor without uh, the filter in there and I got a can of this heavy-duty carb cleaner for this rebuild I'm doing. I got a new uh, pump ball for it because the other one was cracked. I thought that might have been it, but it wasn't. Um, so there's the car rares. There's not a whole lot to them. Uh, these little kits right here have all kind of stuff. I don't think I'm going to replace it. Everything. I'm probably gonna pull the needle jet. This is the this is the uh, diaphragm that I thought was working pretty good, but who knows? I'm gonna replace it anyway because it's in the kit. And there's all kind of stuff in this kit, and I don't know. And this is my other diaphragm that I took out while I was at the shop, and it didn't look too good. It had like bubbles on there and stuff. But I've been running this thing for like a good year and I haven't been using uh, boat fuel either you should be using 100% fuel or 99% fuel too which I'm going to start doing from now on in fact I I bought this new oil uh, I just mixed it up I put it's 2.6 liters to a gallon uh, of this two cycle oil this is what the guy recommended this is regular husk barn um, uh, two cycle oil one bottle of this to a gallon of gas so from now on that's all I'm using and the gallon is not the full can it's there's a line on there that says a gallon if you see that you go to that line right there but uh, what I was using was this Two cycle TCW3 the guy said it isn't the same as the stuff for these little engines here. So I'll take his word for it. But it did run for a long time on whatever oil mixture I was making and stuff. But I think not having this filter in there, these filters come pre oiled. Um, so I'm going to clean this carburetor up real good, pull them needles out, replace the needle valves and stuff. Uh, it's even got a new screen in there. I might put that new screen, a new uh, little rubber gasket in there too. So anything that's, you know, is not too difficult to replace. I'm going to take this little gold wire brush and clean this up in here and uh, blow it again with my compressor and put it all together. And uh, I thought it was spark because it looked like the spark was weak. So I did buy a new spark plug, but that I guess wasn't it. Because it was, you can tell when they're firing, they, it kind of blows blue smoke. And I cleaned that out, the exhaust out too. And there's a uh, screen inside that exhaust that has to be cleaned. And you got to make sure this net stays on here. And Anyway, I'll uh, do all this and get back. But anyway, I did want to say nine times out of ten, uh, this ethanol that's in gas is what happens to these things anyway I was saying nine times out of ten these carburetors get gummed up from ethanol and gas that's why it's best to uh, get the hundred percent or ninety nine percent boat fuel whatever it's called there it is freaking miracle Well, 
Well, I really did not think that thing was going to start, but there it is. Cost me about 60 bucks and two days of aggravation. This is what I used to clean the carburetor in there where it was all carboned up. But anyway, I want to show you what I thought was... They gave, I thought they gave me the wrong kit because the diaphragm is actually two pieces. This diaphragm, you take one of these and one of these and you put it on top of there when you put it together. I didn't even replace the needle jet and all that. It just looked like too much fucking bullshit, so I didn't do it. This shit, I don't even know where the hell it goes. All I did was put a new diaphragm gasket in, in this gasket. Just match it up to the old ones. And then that little cap, that last cap that goes on, I thought a gasket went under there, but I guess not. The last piece on the top, the cap where the uh, primer ball's at, there's no gasket under there. Anyway, I gotta get busy. Blowing these leaves, so worst time of the year that that thing could go bad because of all the damn leaves every other day out here. Anyway, I hope that uh, helps somebody. I know I didn't see any videos on there like that that really explain this shit, but it's nine times out of ten, like I said, it's that carburetor, ethanol. Buy that boat fuel for any of your small engines. I know from now on I am. And the right oil. Alright, so I ran the backpack for a couple of hours. It sounded like my rings were rattling. And it kept trying to bog. I thought that it was my carburetor rebuild job, but what I did was I poured the thicker, older, cheaper oil in the blue bottle that I showed you. The boat uh, oil that's mixed like 30 to 1. Poured it in there and the ring stopped rattling and it stopped trying to die all the time and bog out. So I guess, I don't know, maybe my rings are wore out. Maybe they went bad from running it without the air filter for so long. In any case, it seems to be all right if I put that thicker oil in there. So you might want to do that if you hear some rattling sound like your rings or whatever. Run it some more tomorrow and see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be all right with the thicker oil mixture. I'm thinking like 30 to 1 maybe with the boat oil. I'll probably use both Your oils business. and just make it thicker. Hope that helps somebody. Ferg. Ferg. Ferg, what do you think? What do you think? Mm. This is a big my girls. That's Fergie. That's my Tinker. Tinker. And my pebbles. And my pebbles. And before I get too close. Tinker, so we're no more angel. We're not gonna let you leave here empty-handed. We'll give you $500. We're doing my pebbles. Alright, so this is a little recap of my earlier video. I said something about my backpack blower wasn't running right, so I made the oil thick again, and all that was a mistake because what I did was tore the carburetor apart again and cleaned it thoroughly this time. There's no black residue blocking a cord in there. Uh, I used uh, goo, goo gone, goo or whatever the hell it's called, goo ball, and uh, cleaned it out real good. Took my compressor, blew it out with about 100 pounds of pressure, and then I put a new seal in the main jet. Uh, and I put a new float in there this time. I lost my screen, so I just put that together on the screen, but I made sure I put the gaskets and everything in there right this time. mix with the Husqvarna 2.6 milliliters with a gallon of gas and it. it's running great now. I could be happier.